Question number six. So question number six wants us to write and solve a linear equation. Anytime you're, right, you're trying to do or write an equation where you have some total, all right, and then you have some amount that's changing over some period of time, or in this case, over some period of boxes, you need to think about y equal mx plus b, all right, where we know that y represents your total, m represents your slope, and b is your y-intercept. All right, so it's very helpful to remember some of the keywords for slope and y-intercept. Some of those keywords for slope are per, each, every, rate, monthly, yearly, hourly, stuff like that, guys. So again, um, those are some of the keywords that normally mean slope. Some of the keywords that mean y-intercept are initial, start, begin, flat, base, and I'm going to give you a new one, original, all right, and I'm going to give you another one, one time fee, okay, so if you're paying something only once, that's also meaning your y-intercept. Okay, so what we're going to do, guys, is that we're going to make an equation that's similar to this. Okay, so we're going to firstly try to identify my total. So the question says, Tony buys cookies and brownies. He pays a total of $21.75. Your total is always your largest number. So because this is your largest number, that would be my total. Okay, now I'm going to identify my slope. Okay, so my slope is going to be, say, says he pays a total of 15 for cookies. We know that this was not a total because it was not the largest number. He bought three boxes of brownies. So he bought three boxes of brownies. So each set of brownies, he bought three of them. So in this case, this is representing your slope. So again, guys, this was our total. And then this was our slope. So we're going to use three. This is use the letter B for brownies, okay? And then he pays, a, um, for all the cookies he buys, he pays $15. So he only buys the entire set of cookies for 15 This would be my Y-intercept, okay? Because, again, he's buying three entire boxes of brownies. We don't know how many brownies are in the entire box. So we say three per box, okay? and then one set of brownies, of cookies. So now we're going to solve this equation. So again, this is our equation. All right. So again, this is our equation. Now we have to solve it. Okay. So to solve it, first you're going to move your constant to the left side. So you're going to move this to the, the like term or to the bigger like term by subtracting 15, subtracting 15. That would get canceled out. Now I have 3B is equal to 21.75 minus 15. You can use your calculator, and you will get 6.75. Okay? Now I'm going to break up the multiply by dividing. All right? So your brownies, or B, is equal to 6.75 divided by 3 is 2.25. All right? So the amount cost... $2.25 for each individual brownie that's in the box. All right? So, again, guys, just like that.